is Bailey, and I'm from Abraham Lincoln High School. Four score and seven years ago! And this is my piece, A Message to a Man Who Never Was. This one is for you, Dad. Four-year-old me believed that the best possible definition of a man was you, the one who taught me right from wrong. I was always known as your little princess. We always had our Saturday date. You ordered my Shirley Temple and extra crispy fries with ranch on the side. You handed me a whole three dollars and told me to pick all the songs my little heart desired. As I jammed out to the jukebox, you smiled and watched as I pranced around in my aerial flats. When I was five years old, I couldn't put two and two together as to why my siblings would cringe when I uttered the words, I love you, Dad. But then I began noticing more than before. I didn't understand why every time you came home, my siblings would run to their rooms as if they had just been spooked by the monsters you assured me didn't live underneath of my bed. I noticed how Mom put her head down whenever you walked into the room, the full dark cloud that trailed you everywhere. But I pushed those things aside because you were my hero. I began to notice Mom staying up when she thought us kids were sleeping. I heard her muffled sobs as she had you on the phone begging you to come home. I didn't know exactly where you were, but it sounded like you weren't coming home anytime soon. Night after night, you would come home later, and I was thinking maybe it was something that I did. My heart felt like it was being wrung out like a drenched t-shirt. When I was seven, I remember you coming home screaming, and you threw a wine glass at Mom's head. As the glass smashed against the tan-colored cabinet, sounds of your poisonous words piercing my small veins and the sound of Mom hitting the floor, dodging your effort to show her who made the rules. That night was the night something changed for me. I imagined who you used to be before something snapped within you. I imagined you being stretched like a rubber band, and one day you couldn't withhold the pressure, so you snapped. You were always my rock, Dad, until the water seeped into your cracks and made you crumble. You left us when I was seven. I always hoped you'd come back so I had the chance to say goodbye. Mom said you guys were having trouble, but everything would be okay after a while. Mom lied for the sake of me. During Share Circle, I sh told my fourth grade class about our dates, Dad. I was confused when my teacher's face dropped from a wide grin to a worried look. Ten-year-old me didn't realize that the only person that thinks it's normal to take a little girl to a bar was you. I realized that next to my Shirley Temple was your Jägermeister, next to you on that torn up bar stool was a woman that wasn't mom, and I realized what the word alcoholic meant. After you had missed yet another event, mom called you that night. I heard her on the phone speaking to you, your voice loud enough to be heard halfway across the city, booming like the radio in your 2004 Red Pontiac. You muttered the words divorce and lawyer. You were telling her that the only reason you wanted custody of me was for the money. Mom and I painted the cabinets gray, covering the marks you left behind. Cabinets can be painted, but the scars that cover my heart will never be masked. But Dad, you did teach me right from wrong, because you were the wrong.